Bloomberg published an article last Thursday exploring the correlation between environmental pollution and birth defects. Several studies cited by Bloomberg show that yes, there is a correlation, and Chinese children, both in the womb and out, are being affected. This map was made by NASA from 2001 to 2006. It averages the particulate matter PM of 2.5 micrometers in diameter. PM 2.5 is said to be one of the most deadly forms of air pollution, as it can penetrate the lungs and get into the bloodstream. The red on this map shows the highest concentration of PM 2.5, and blue the lowest. Air pollution, and especially PM 2.5, has been making headlines recently as the smog in China's cities has been labeled very severe. To pursue GDP growth, the government has ignored people's livelihood. Therefore, right now there are so many babies born with defects. It greatly impacts our lives. This is already a crime. Over a 10-year period, starting in the early 2000s, scientists started testing babies in Shanxi Province, one of the biggest coal-producing regions in China. The study found that of 80 babies born with congenital tube defects, all showed a higher exposure to chemicals found in coal burn-off. Children are much more susceptible to health problems from pollution than adults are. The heavy metals found in coal production and other environmental pollutants are particularly damaging to a child's development. One woman working at an international adoption agency says that finding healthy children in China is getting harder and harder. She says that a combination of China's one-child policy and poor environmental conditions has left few babies unscathed for adoption.